<clears throat> Hi. So I have a different setup. <laughs> so we can do some sewing. You're seeing my uh, part of my craft room. And you don't see back here. This is the messy. And down here. <laughs> um, so yeah. And you might see some of me in my wet hair. <laughs> but that's okay, right? That's okay. All right. Let's get to sewing. Hopefully, this view will work. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so here we are. Um, let's do this one. We're gonna do some sewing in the signatures. So we've done stenciling and made some pockets. And now what I like to do, oh, whoops, is put the book right in your face. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do is add some lace and trim and fabric. All right, so instead of gluing like I did for the pockets that gummed up my stuff pretty bad, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sew. And I think I might actually change out my orange with some black, uh, whatchamacallit, thread. So, I'll be right back. All right, we have some black thread, so let's get started. And I just kind of lay it on, just like kind of where I want it, and then I just kind of go for it. <clears throat> so let's go for it. See, it's gummed up. Hmm. No, nope, it doesn't like it. I have to get a new needle. Let's see. to give it a try first. Just trim it. This one might, let's see, here's my book cover. This might stick out a little, oh no, this will be fine. Yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> a little far. I think I'm gonna put one more strip though. Maybe that will clear up the funniness too with the If you don't have a sewing machine, you could just glue the lace on. But if you do, you it looks really nice, I think, once you sew all the bits. Some people like to leave their strings hanging. I tend to cut mine. Alright, that looks better. With it sewn twice. Alright, let's do another one. Hmm, we'll do at least more black on this side, a little larger, I'm going to 
closer to the edge. Well, now it's working okay. Hmm, who knows? Yep, let's keep going. I don't think I'm going to do anything on this one for now. No lace, at least. Um, let's do, I have this crepe paper here. Maybe we can make a paper ruffle. I'm get a nice long piece. I tend to do this with just fabric, but this might be fun. And I might not go all the way down. Let's see. We'll just kind of go for it. And then I start a little bit, and then I pick up my foot, and I kind of... It's a little different with the crepe paper, but with fabric, I just kind of smush it in there. <laughs> so technical I am. And then... So, and I just smush and go, smush, smush, all right, I lied, I'm going to go all the way down, might as well, I was on a smushing roll there, back up, and cool, I like it. I'm gonna give us a fun little texture on that page. Pretty neat. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Now, now what? Now what? Now what? Okay, I'm getting crazy. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put orange ribbon down the middle. Look at there. That's cute. I like that. <clears throat> so I haven't decided <laughs> if I'm just going to use this as my October daily since it'll be done and that'll be nice or if I'm going to list it in Etsy. I don't know. I haven't been focusing on my Etsy shop so much recently maybe. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I should. It's just a lot of work. Okay, I like that. That looks good. I like it. Um, let's do a pocket. So I have some of those funky, I don't even know. If you watch Amour Fabrique's um, her uh, videos and things, she would tell me. She would know what this is called. It's like denim, but then the back of this is a weird texture. So I don't, I don't think it really is denim. <laughs> but I need Selena to help me out. I'm doing this in an awkward position. <laughs> I'm just trimming some of this to make a more manageable piece, and then I'm going to use this as a pocket. I mean, they have tons of that stuff. Alright. 
gonna have to trim it some more, let's see. Oh no, that's, that'll look good, huh? made it wider even. Hmm. I think I might take some of these scraps and sew them on top. Kind of layer it. That'll be kind of fun. So some people plan out their pages and their journals. I just kind of, I just kind of see what, you know, I look at the page and say, huh, what should we do? So that's kind of what I do. I don't plan it out. Which is true with a lot of things <laughs> that I do. All right, it might take some of this. I like using these scissors because it kind of hides mistakes if you don't cut straight, which I don't. Let's see. Something on there. Can you see that? That might look cool, huh? Okay. Let's just add these on like that. I'm gonna sew these on first. I'm gonna go down the middle, I think. I kinda want it sorta messy looking. Hard to see my edges. see just kind of looks darker doesn't I don't know so let's add this on and this will make it pop a little bit make it pop make it pop all right here we go maybe if I can find my pedal my little foot there it goes zigzag for the outside. There we go.
check it out. That looks cute. Be cute to stamp something right there too. Oh, there's that. I like it. <clears throat> So, this 14 minutes and 35 seconds has gone by fast. <laughs> and I've only done, what, two pages? So, I think I'm going to end it here. And then I'm going to leave it, um, if you can comment down below. If you just want me to show you kind of uh, what I did. Or if you want to see. Okay, so my video... <laughs> literally just stopped without me pushing the button so what i was saying um is i'm going to leave it in the comment if you can comment if you would like to see me continue sewing or if you want me to videotape it and then speed it up um because 15 minutes and i'm only done two pages and we have two whole signatures so that might take a while um all right so maybe it's like a part three continue <laughs> no I'm kidding I'd make it part four okay so I guess that's all for now have a great day bye bye